Hello and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to use our MoleVad VPN credentials inside of Deluge VPN. So that way, when any of your containers are using Deluge VPN, they are essentially using the MoleVad uh, servers when you are connecting to the internet, wherever it may be, and also keeping all of your data private while you peruse the internet or download things from the internet. So first off, I want to show you what that looks like. So if we go into Firefox uh, right now and we ask um, Google, what is my IP address? This site called whatismyip.com says my IP address, my current IP address is 69420337. And that is without the VPN, of course. So now what we're gonna wanna do is actually configure our VPN uh, to use the Molvad credentials. After you create your account with Molvad, it's extremely simple. Uh, you're, you'll be presented with this page here where you can download their application if you want. But we're not going to do this. We're actually going to scroll down to the bottom of the page here and look for OpenVPN. And if you click on this, you'll be redirected to another page where you can download an archive, a zipped archive or a zipped folder. I'm going to click on Linux. I don't think it really matters which one you click. However, I will choose Linux. Um, let's choose a country like Sweden. And let's go ahead and pick Stockholm. That's always a good place. And then we're going to download this archive. Click Save. And on our system, you can unzip or unpackage uh, this zip file. And then we're basically going to want to copy all of these contents into the Deluge VPN um, folder inside of App Data. So App Data, Deluge VPN, Open VPN and we're gonna paste all of those files into here. Now the important thing that to do here is actually rename one of the files to OVPN. The specific one we're looking for is called Molvad SE, so that's Sweden, stock, or STO in this case, which is stockholm.conf. We're gonna to wanna to rename this to OVPN. Just like that. So it's no longer .conf, it is now .ovpn, which I obviously mistyped there, ovpn. Cool, and now we're pretty much done with this, so we'll move this out of the way for now. And then we can go back to our uh, Unraid server, and inside of here we will edit the Deluge VPN container. And for reference, uh, here is how I have my container set up. Now I did follow Space Invaders 1's video on how to set this up with Priv Proxy, and so if you haven't seen that video already, you can go ahead and watch that, or you can look at my configuration as we scroll through. But this is how I have it set up. So we have a network type of bridge. Here are all the different ports that my server, or Deluge VPN is using. Now the things that we want to change here, uh, we want to set our container variable um, to yes for VPN enabled. We'll want to enter in the account number that uh, Molvad randomly generated for us. There we go. And we're also gonna wanna enter in the password Molvad generated for us as well. Now, once we got that done, uh, you wanna make sure that this is set to custom. So that way um, you can actually use OpenVPN. So we've got those container variables set. Uh, we also wanna make sure that the container variable uh, for strict port forward is set to yes. And also we want to enable priv proxy if you haven't done so already. And we're basically done from here. Um, I'm assuming that most of you guys already have your Deluge VPN uh, container configured, but if not, uh, like I said, I'll leave a link in the video description below for how to set that up using Space Invader 1's video, or you can just uh, copy my configuration as you see fit. All right, so we're gonna let Deluge VPN start up here and uh, once it is ready to go, which it looks like it is, uh, we will now go into Firefox. And if we go to Preferences, so we can open the Preferences by clicking on the hamburger here, click on Preferences, that brings us to this page. And the easiest way to find the proxy is just simply use the search function at, towards the top of the page, and it brings up in the search results network settings. We'll click on Settings, and then we'll want to enter in the um, IP address of our container, our Deluge VPN container, which is right here. So all of these. So we'll enter that here and you can click this check mark box and it'll auto fill out the rest for you if you so choose. 
Um, I don't think it really matters. We'll make sure the port is set to 8118 because that's what we had set in our container. And then um, you can edit the rest of the stuff as necessary, but I'm gonna leave it like this. We'll hit okay. We will go back to Google. And it looks like it's already changed our um, language here uh, to Swedish or whatever language they speak. And then we can just Google search, what is my IP? And we will, oh, the container may have frozen. There we go, wow. What is my IP? And click on the first link. And there you go. So here is my new IP address. So we are now using Mulvad uh, VPN services uh, to pass through essentially all of our uh, information. So we can basically go to, well, we went to Google and it already brought up, you know, the Swedish language for us. <laughs> so it's clearly working. Uh, but now when you like browse the web and things, uh, if you go to a compatible page, um, they will be in different languages and all that jazz. Uh, but SPX Labs doesn't currently support that. But nonetheless, I want to thank all of you for watching. And if you have any questions about this particular video, please let me know. And if you also like what you saw here, please visit spxlabs.com forward slash links. If you'd like to support the channel, if not, no big deal. But I do appreciate each and every one of you for watching my videos, and I will see you all next time. Peace.